Hello, hi everyone. Um, I'm here to talk about my artist. Her name is Martha Jane Bradford, also known as Aldazara and Goldflake. Um, that's her avatar name from Second Life. Um, she personally sold me and my groupmates her gallery in Second Life. We went on a tour and she was talking about them. All her um, works, her art, and her gallery, the name of her gallery is Atelier El Zoran. Um, uh, at, when we met up with her, it was in her gallery, and then we were talking about, like, simple things, and then she started showing us what she had in her gallery. Um, the first thing was her aquarelia. Um, it, it was it, it was a digital drawing of a coral painter, and it's a basically it's a huge aquarium that you could go inside and swim with the fish and feed the fish and. And it was like really nice, black and white. Yeah. She she draws all her works of art first, and then she makes them in her virtual art galleries. Um, the second one was called a maze, and it was a maze. <laughs> it was a blue like blue maze that like. It moved on its own, and there, in the middle of the maze, there was this chair that um, you could sit on and meditate while the forest moves or does the walking. That's what she called it. Um, you could sit and meditate while the forest does the walking. And her third piece that she showed us was called the rec room for fukushima daishi um this art um this piece was pretty it was it was something it was it, it was it had like a a pyramid type structure that you could go inside it and like balls of like flaming stuff was um coming out of the floor and it was just pretty amazing like um yeah and then outside of that pyramid was like it was um <clears throat> there's like a shrine with a geisha and like a mask and Another part was like you could sit down and eat sushi and drink tea. It was it was really nice. And that was like the first interview we had with her. And our second one was the next day. And the second one she, the second in the second interview interview she um took us to another one of her piece and it was called Orphus on Oranto. I really don't know how to pronounce that, but um, basically she she herself compared it to um, heaven and hell. It was two floors. Um, this piece was really something like it really intrigued me because when I got there, like. It was super dark and like goth like and um amazing. Like she you could write these gandalas, like you could sit in there and write it and like you could dance on the ceiling and um you could go to a different floor because there's two floors and there would be like these 
things that you could drive. They look like boats. And, and that's pretty much it. That's what she showed us. Um, I re the, my favorite one was the maze because it was really beautiful and I liked that you could just sit down and watch, watch it move on its own. It was like trees and pretty, pretty fullness. <laughs> um, she got me thinking like she, um, she could do all these things in virtual, in the virtual world, and I want to learn how to do some of this stuff. And with our gallery, um, I really want to like make people like do things, like be interactive with our gal, with our gallery, not just like look at it, but like be interactive because. Um, Allie, that's what she likes to be called, Allie, her, she, uh, she makes her, gal um, her art pieces interactive, and I like that. Um, yeah, that was, that was my, um, my artist, and I really like her, and she kind of is intimidating, but... She's awesome and really nice, and I love her art. Thank you.